Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining School of the American Rifle. I'm going to showcase a new product that is a collaboration with myself at School of the American Rifle and Roger Wang of Forward Control Designs. It is the SCP, this product here. It is a cam pin with a dimple machined into it. Pretty simple modification. Something that I've been doing for a long time, probably over 10 years, with my own bolt carrier groups and ones that I would service as a gunsmith. If you see closely here, I would scribe an arrow into the cam pin. The purpose of the arrow is so you can position the cam pin the same way each time. So when you put the cam pin into a bolt carrier group, it's possible to put it in this way or this way. So when you do that, what's happening is if you continue to flip it around, you get double the wear. The cam pin will normally wear more heavy on one side. If you look at this example here, the groove is pretty pretty shallow and then on this side it gets a little deeper. And that's because this thing was reversed multiple times. If you position the cam pin the same way every time, you'll get heavier wear on one side than the other and they all wear a little bit differently. They're sort of like a fingerprint. But basically this creates consistency with the way you put the bolt carrier group back together. It's really important to position the cam pin the same way every time, not only to cut down on wear on the cam pin, but also to minimize the wear that can be introduced to the bolt itself. So if you have a cam pin that's worn heavily because you've continued to flip it back and forth and it's worn down some, it's more sloppy in the bolt itself. I don't know if you can see this here, but it's got a good bit of wiggle in this used bolt. You go to a newer bolt, and I have less wiggle. Transition to a new pin, and I have almost no movement at all. We'll do the same thing with the SCP. And again, almost no movement at all. So the more, the more slop you allow to be introduced here, the more likely you are to accelerate wear on the cam pin. And also, the slop here transitions to wearing the internal bore here at, which can cause a little bit of stretching, and it can also cause the bolt to break here. The bolts will break in two places. They'll normally shear lugs off, like you see here, which has nothing to do with the cam pin. And they'll also break along these edges right here. They're very thin. So the more that you can do to minimize wear in this area, lubrication is one important factor, um, but ori uh, orienting the, the pin in the same way each time will help cut down on this wear. So that's the whole purpose of the modification. You can see that I have it installed on this bolt carrier group here and it just lets you know that you should always put this towards the front. And these are unmodified cam pins. You can see that there's no substantial difference in the design beyond the dimple. And like I said on this one, I was for years scribing this in here. It's really hard to modify the cam pin. You can't just grab a punch and start banging on this to make marks. Normally these are really hard, so they'll damage a punch. You have to normally use like an electric pencil or a scribe of some type to mark them. So the dimple was a pretty ingenious design that Roger Wang decided to go with instead of trying to engrave these with an arrow or something. I have done other types of markings. Um, some Marines and some uh, some soldiers have asked for some custom markings. I won't go into what they are on the video, but uh, they're inappropriate. But they seem to like them. They're funny. But uh, that's the whole point of the SCP is to position your cam pin the same way each and every time. Roger Wang has these available on Forward Control Design's website. And he sent me these to showcase in the video to show everyone why they're used. Hope you found this video educational and thanks for watching.